Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have 2012 to the power 6 plus 2012 to the power 7 or divided by 2012 to the power x and this is equal to 2013. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, I would appreciate it if you would pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload good videos like this. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First, let's multiply each side of the equation by the denominator, which is 2012 to the power x. So we have here times 2012 to the power x. And straight away, you can see that this one will cancel this. Now from the left-hand side, we are left with 2012 to the power 6 plus 2012 to the power 7, and this is equal to 2013 times 2012 to the power x. Now we have 2012 to the power 6. Now let's pay attention to this 2012 to the power 7. Now I can write this as 2012 times 2012 to the power 6, right? And this is equal to, I'll change my marker, this is equal to 2013 times 2012 to the power x. Now you can see we have 2012 to the power 6 here and then we also have it here. So let's take it out. We have 2012 to the power 6, then we have 1 here plus, from here we are left with 2012. And this is equal to 2013 times 2012 to the power x. Awesome. Now simplifying this we have 2012 to the power 6 times 2013 because 1 plus 2012 that is 2013 and this is equal to 2013 times 2012 to the power x. And straight away you can see that if we divide each side of the equation by 2013, 2013 this one will cancel this, then this one will cancel this one as well. And we are left with 2012 to the power 6 is equal to 2012 to the power x. And you can see the bases are the same, so straight away we can say that x is equal to 6. And this is our final answer. Now let's go ahead and then check for that. When x is equal to 6, we have 2012 to the power 6 plus 2012 to the power 7 divided by 2012 to the power 6. Now let's split this fraction so that we'll get 2012 to the power 6 over 2012 to the power 6 plus 2012 to the power 7 divided by 2012 to the power 6. And you see that this whole thing will give us 1. So we have 1 plus. Now we can write this as 2012 to the power 7 minus 6. So now we have 1 plus 2012 to the power 1, which is still 2012. And 1 plus 2012 is nothing but 2013. So you can see that here we have 2013 here. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel and then turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload good questions like this. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.